In Creole Parametric 10.0, you can now apply rotational symmetry when you are performing generative design and topology optimization. Let me show you how to do that. Here I have a part model. There are three main bodies. I have a body which is in the transparent gray color, which is my initial starting geometry. And I've got two bodies for the preserved geometry. I've got the inner ring, and that's where I'm going to apply my displacement constraint and also the outer ring where I'm going to apply my loads. To get into topology optimization, I will go to the Applications tab, and then from here I will choose Generative Design. And now let's start defining our study. For my starting geometry, I'm going to select the main body that I renamed to Starting Geometry. For my Preserved Geometry, I will select the other two bodies. I have my inner ring and then I will query select to the outer ring. So now I've selected those, I will click the OK button. The colors of the bodies change automatically. Now let me define my constraints. If I go to the constraints drop down, I will define a fixed uh, constraint to the inner ring and then click the OK button. Now for my loads, I'm going to apply a pressure load to the outer surfaces. Let me hold down the control key and get the other half of my ring. For my magnitude, I'm more comfortable working in PSI and let's make this a value of 100 and then click the OK button. Next up, let's define our design criteria. I'll click on the design criteria here and I can just choose edit definition. Right now we have the material steel. I could change that if I wanted to. Here we are maximizing the stiffness. Alternatively, you could choose to minimize the mass. And I want to see pretty serious reductions here. I'm going to choose 25%. Now let's put in our design constraints. I want this to be 3D printed, so I will define the build direction. And for my reference, let me turn on my datum plane display for a moment. I will choose the datum plane called top. Let me, oh, let me turn it off. And now for the critical angle, hey, maybe I want to use 30 degrees instead of the default of 45. If I go to add constraints, we have our symmetry constraint like before, but in Creo 9 and earlier, you only had one choice. You had your planar symmetry that you could define. Now we have a button that allows us to choose rotational symmetry. And there's another one where you can have both planar and rotational symmetry. Let's start off initially just with rotational symmetry. And for my axis, let me turn on my axis display so I can select the center axis going through my part. And then for the number of instances, let's use an odd number. Let's use a value of five for that. And everything else here looks good. So I will click the OK button. And now we can optimize the model. So I'll click on the optimize command and it is starting to run. And the run has completed in just over a minute. Let me turn off the display of my simulation objects and also turn off the display of the axis going down the middle. And so you can see where we have our symmetry rotationally with our five different essentially spokes that we have in the part. If you want to, you could display the simulation results on top of this so that you can see your stresses. We can change here the set of units to something that makes more sense like megapascals. And there we can see our different results. That looks great. Let me turn off the display of the simulation results. Now we can take a look at trying different design criteria. I'm going to edit the definition. Instead of just rotational symmetry, now I'm going to add planar and rotational symmetry for my symmetry plane. Once again, let me turn on my datum plane display and I will choose the plane called top for my planar symmetry. Let's turn off the display again and let's click the OK button out of the design criteria dialog box. So the optimization that we ran went away. Let's perform our second optimization and once again give this a few seconds to run. 
Very interesting different result this time. So you can see that we have again our five different spokes in here and they sort of branch off. But we do have both the planar and the rotational symmetry. And if you're happy with the design at this point, you can go to generate design. You can choose something like reconstructed. I will use the same resolution level. Let's choose a new part. And I will copy only the result geometry. And then I can click on the generate button. And I will choose, let's give it a slightly different name. And click the OK button. And so there you can see our constructed geometry from the result of our topology optimization. So that is how you can use the rotational symmetry constraints as part of topology optimization in Creo Parametric 10.0.